If you ever stop to think about the, uh, the sheer power humming away inside your devices, your computer, your phone, especially that graphics card, it's built for amazing visuals, for AI, for heavy lifting. But what if that specialized power, that very design, could actually be turned against you, could become a vulnerability? Today we're doing a deep dive into something called GPU Hammer. It's a, well, a pretty concerning new cybersecurity exploit targeting modern GPUs, our mission. To unpack what GPU Hammer is, exactly how it works, and you know why it's something we really need to understand right now. Okay, so to kick things off, maybe let's build the foundation first. Before we jump into GPU Hammer itself, we probably need to understand its predecessor, right? The original Row Hammer attack. For anyone listening who isn't familiar, what exactly is Row Hammer? What makes it tick? Right, Row Hammer. It's a fascinating um, and fundamental attack targeting DRAM dynamic random access memory. Think of your memory chip like a grid, loads of rows and columns storing data. Rowhammer works by essentially hammering specific memory rows, just accessing them over and over very, very quickly. This intense electrical activity actually causes interference enough to flip bits, you know, change a zero to a one or a one to a zero in adjacent rows, rows you weren't even accessing. Wow. Okay. So just by reading one place repeatedly, you can corrupt data somewhere else entirely. Exactly. And these bit flips, they're not trivial. They can cause data corruption, sure, system crashes. But the really dangerous part is potential privilege escalation. An attacker could potentially use these flips to gain higher levels of control over the system. Okay, so that's Rowhammer, a direct hardware level memory attack. Pretty serious stuff already. Now here's where it gets really interesting for today's deep dive, bringing the GPU into it. Graphics cards are all about parallel processing, doing tons of things at once. How does that change the game? Is GPU hammer just row hammer on steroids, or is it different? Ah, it's much more than just speeding things up. GPU hammer really leverages the unique way GPUs work to amplify the effect and, crucially, to get around existing defenses. The key thing here is that GPUs aren't just faster, they operate fundamentally differently from CPUs. First, yes, that massive parallelism. GPUs are designed to hit many memory locations simultaneously. This massively increases the intensity of that hammering we talked about. Okay, so more hammering more effectively makes sense. But second, and this is really the game changer, GPU hammer often doesn't rely on the same specific CPU instructions or uh, the CPU's cache systems that row hammer might. This means many existing defenses, which are primarily CPU based and looking for those specific patterns, well, they can be effectively blind to GPU hammer. They're blind to it. Yeah, because it's not playing by the rules those defenses were designed for. It makes it a much stealthier, potentially harder to detect kind of threat. That's, yeah. Yeah. That's concerning. The idea that our current safety nets might just miss this entirely. Yeah. So let's connect the dots. What does this actually mean for us, for regular people using devices every day? Mm -hmm. GPUs are everywhere now. They absolutely are. And the implications are pretty significant if you look at the bigger picture. Think about your smartphone. If it's vulnerable, GPU hammer could potentially be used to compromise your personal data right there in your pocket. Mm -hmm. Then scale up. Servers and data centers. A successful attack there could mean major data breaches or knocking critical systems offline. And cloud providers. They rely heavily on GPUs. They need to seriously revisit their security posture to defend against this, which affects, well, basically everyone using cloud services. Right, from streaming movies to running business applications. It touches almost everything. So the big question then, mm -hmm. what can be done? Are researchers figuring out ways to combat this? What are the recommendations? Yeah, thankfully, researchers are definitely on this. The solutions being explored fall into a few main camps. First, better memory protection itself. Things like more robust error correction codes, uh, or maybe techniques for better isolating memory regions from each other at the hardware level. Yeah, hardware fixes. Second, and this is a big one, actual changes to GPU design. Manufacturers might need to rethink aspects of how GPUs access memory to inherently prevent this kind of uh, electrical leakage or interference. That sounds like a longer term solution, though. It likely is. Which brings us to the third area, new software defenses. We need detection and prevention tools specifically designed to spot GPU hammer patterns, ones that aren't just focused on the CPU. Ultimately, tackling this really needs a collaborative effort. Researchers, the GPU makers, software developers, everyone needs to work together. Okay, so it's a multi-pronged approach. Hardware, design, software. This deep dive really paints GPU Hammer as, well, a potent evolution of Row Hammer. It cleverly exploits the very strengths of GPUs, turning their power into a potential weakness with some really wide-ranging impacts. And it leaves us with a pretty important question to think about, doesn't it? As our technology gets ever more powerful, ever more specialized, 
Are we always thinking ahead? Are we truly prepared for the new, perhaps unexpected, vulnerabilities that this specialization might create? It certainly makes you pause and consider just how deeply interconnected and sometimes fragile our digital security really is. 